Hey everybody, Bobby Watts here from Watts Innovations, bringing you another free video, just talking about uh, my experience, I guess we could say. Um, this has really been fun for me, I've enjoyed it. Um, it's not so technical, we're not talking about nuts and bolts and how to twiddle the sticks the right way with an RC heli or something. Um, but this one's just kind of spreading some knowledge from what I've been learning throughout this whole process. Um, so I was thinking about it and I was trying to think of a video that can kind of tie everything together. So how can, I, how can I help out my fellow RC airplane pilots, for example? Or how can I help out um, the 16 year old kid who can fly a drone really well? Um, I was trying to think maybe what, could I, what kind of advice could I give to myself maybe 10 years ago? And so this is what I got. So this video is really about how to take your RC passion and turn it into a solid side hustle. How to get some extra dough, right? How to cut down the expense of my RC hobby. So maybe is there a way that I can uh, turn my RC hobby into a, making a living? Well, yeah, sure. Plenty of us have done it. I, I've done it myself. Um, there's plenty of guys I could rattle off their names where full time you're doing uh, uh, radio controlled stuff and earning a living from it. Um, at the very least, maybe this can kind of help you get some products for free or whatever it might be. So this one's really all about taking your RC knowledge and getting some money with it or getting, getting something out of it, you know, not rather than just the pure enjoyment. So how do we get something out of our RC hobby? So before we get going, just a quick little disclaimer. Um, I'm not a uh, licensed professional or whatever. I'm not telling you exactly what you need to do. Um, I'm not liable for you following this and making bad life choices and so, so you get the idea. So that's the little disclaimer before we get. Um, so yeah, let's just hop into it, right? So how do we take our RC passion and make some dough with it? Well, first and foremost, whenever you think of making money, I guess, um, what does everyone think of first? Well, I would argue it's sales. So let's start with sales. That's the first way you can make some solid dough on a side hustle with your RC experience. So what's the easiest way? Let's say you start with zero dollars. What's the easiest way? Now, if you're an RC enthusiast flying planes, helicopters, drones, boats, cars, whatever it is, uh, and you're in the RC game, you've probably got some old stuff that you haven't even looked at in years. Okay, first one, we're gonna take that old stuff, we're gonna throw it on Amazon, throw it on eBay, throw it on Craigslist, throw it on Facebook Marketplace, whatever. Just clear out your old stuff. If you haven't looked at it in a year or two, it's gone. Get it out of there, some solid side dough. Easy enough, right? We all knew that one. That one was too simple, too simple. Uh, to make it even easier, Go to your uh, RC field, ask anyone if they've got any old stuff. I mean, at our torches field here in Orlando, people are always bringing boxes of old crap out and that they wanna unload. So take it, flip it, make some dough. Buy some new stuff with it, buy some new upgrades, or whatever you want, buy some fuel with it, buy some batteries with it. Um, so that's first way. Um, now, if you wanted to take sales a step further and uh, beyond, way, way, way further, now you can start looking at um, what kind of products can you get for a discount, what kind of a new products can you get for a discount that you can then sell um, maybe your own website, right? So maybe you start a Shopify website or you start a WooCommerce site or you sell your own items on uh, eBay or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, whatever it might be. So um, I guess there's really two options there. Number one, come up with some sort of item, some widget, some gadget, um, a soldering fixture, a battery wire, or anything in the world, and just sell it. RC is awesome. Uh, you can promote it all over the place on social media. Uh, there's so many people involved in the RC hobby that if you come up with something cool enough and you're solving a real problem, you will sell units. I can guarantee that based on personal experience. Um, so you can make your own product, but you can also sell other people's products. So extreme case of that is my good friend, Bert Kammerer here in the Orlando area. Um, he started his own servo company a few years ago and bam, now that's grown into a multi-division um, type of operation where he's selling retail, he's selling wholesale, um, tons of product, big warehouse. He's doing really well with it. So you can start by literally just selling one product. You could go to aliexpress.com and type in carbon fiber tube and you could sell carbon fiber tubes at a good discount or whatever it might be. Bring them in here and sell them. So sales cures all, as they say. Um, I think sales is pretty obvious to most of us. That's kind of the easy one to figure out. Buy it at a decent price, 
Um, just sell it online, sell it straight away, and you should be good to go, right? So that's first and foremost sales, pretty simple. I've done, I've sold products myself in the RC market, and I will admit it's a very competitive market. It moves really fast. So maybe if you're just starting, maybe stick with some things that'll stick around for a while, like uh, wire and soldering equipment, or carbon fiber tubes for drones, or um, you know, building materials, and maybe some things that have a longer shelf life than the average FPV racing part that its shelf life is about five days. So yeah, so that's sales. Um, I think it's a good way to start in there. Definitely start selling some stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, now number two, let's say sales isn't your thing. You're not the salesman type. Well, lucky for you with your RC knowledge and your RC experience, you can perhaps twiddle the sticks and in return make money. So a service, so you can have a service. So let's just say that you're a pretty decent pilot or a, a driver or whatever it might be and you've been into your hobby for a while and you've got a good idea of what's going on. So how do you make money in a service-based business model, I guess you could say? Well, first and foremost, just go out, share your information, and in return, you get something. Maybe they pay you, maybe they give you free stuff, maybe they give you free fuel, whatever it might be. So for this one, you're just going to do flight training. So you could just go out and help a guy who's just starting out and say, hey man, I'll buddy box you for a few hours and in return give me 50 bucks or give me you know, another battery or a charger or something. That's a pretty good way to do it right there. I remember when I was in high school, I would go um, to one of the fields in, in Maryland and I would just offer some flight training and buddy box, whatever, and since I couldn't afford anything at the time, I would just get fuel in return. So I would train a guy for maybe an hour, and in return he'd give me a gallon of fuel. Easy enough, right? Everybody wins in that one. That's a really good one. So flight training, um, instruction, repairing, maybe if people aren't good at building their own aircraft or their own model, you can go in there and build it for them, charge them an hourly rate, bam, you're done. Get some money out of it. Um, so that's one service-based model you can look at. Um, number two is having like, uh, I guess, two under services. You could become a test pilot in a more formal sense. So as a test pilot, you would have to find a company who really needs your services, like a Lockheed Martin or like a really high-end, uh, you know, maybe they're making UAVs, maybe they're making long-range planes or something where they really need a competent pilot to go in there and act as backup. So I would recommend like maybe college kids if you're looking for internships types of things. Um, I did that for a few summers for Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab and that was great. I was literally just the safety pilot and I just took over when the computer messed up. Um, and then on the side I would solder batteries and everything and that was really cool. That was a good experience for me. So being a test pilot is pretty good I think um, for services. Now another thing you can do for services type of a business where you're not really selling stuff and you're not really going out there and teaching people how to fly is you can just take the power of the internet and offer your services for reviewing products. So you can contact a company who's selling lots of product and say, hey, I've got a channel with X amount of followers and let me do a review for you. And guess what? Sometimes they will send you product absolutely for free and you do a cool video, write a cool blog, whatever it is. And then after that, it's yours. Um, I know in one of my businesses, when we made the Invertix 400, the 3D multi-rotor, we would constantly send out free machines worth over $400 for a review because it's worth it to me as a manufacturer to get my name out there. So if you're good on camera, if you can write well, um, if you can take pictures and make people want to buy them, hit people up, tell them, hey, I want to review your product. And reviews are pretty, pretty powerful, I think. So that's just another form of services to make some extra side dough. Now next, this is, uh, I, I think some of my heli brothers maybe might not like this, but like it or not, drones are huge. Drones are huge. So drones, as most of us heli guys know, they kind of evolved from RC helicopters. They just took the technology we had from RC helis and evolved and took it to unbelievable feats. So at the moment, right now, for uh, you pilots who know how to fly, so I'd say airplane helicopter pilots, drone pilots, um, in my experience, making money with drones ha has a much larger appeal, a much larger possibility than making money with an RC heli or an RC plane. 
Let me explain. So, did you know that if you went to Best Buy and purchased a DJI Mavic, for example, for under $1,000 for everything you need, you could then go to a website such as dronebase.com or something where they will pay you to go take photos. Easy enough. It's all done online and everything. Now, I would warn you that yes, you need to get your FAA 107 license, so that costs a hundred and something bucks. You gotta pass the test and you gotta know what you're doing there. But once you're ready to go and you have your uh, legalities taken care of, um, you can go and do these service type of businesses with your drone and it really won't cost you any more than just buying a drone. You really just need a reliable source of um, transportation and you, know, you need to know how to fly. So if you know how to fly, if you're an RC guy and maybe need, you know, want to do something for some extra side income and drones have always looked kind of cool to you, go look at the DJI stuff. They, they make the best stuff period, bar none. They make the best stuff. Go look at the Spark, go look at the Mavic, go look at a Phantom, and you'd be amazed at, you could pick up a used one for maybe a few hundred bucks less, go online and find all these companies who are willing to pay you for you taking photos and videos. Now, photos and videos are traditionally for real estate, they're for insurance companies, so inspecting roofs after storms and such. Um, they are for, uh, Sometimes for the film world, but that's a separate topic. We'll get into that in a second. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of infrastructure going on right now that require drones, drones operators. And they'll pay you anywhere from 50 bucks to 150 bucks to go there and shoot for an hour or so. So it's worth it. So take a look um, at drones and just getting into it. Um, even if you've only f flown a drone a few times, if you're a good pilot, if you're safe, if you know the rules, you can go make some extra side money just with a really small drone. Now, if you take drones to the extreme, there's, once the drones get to kind of a professional level, I notice there's really two ways to go. Number one, you can look at how do you make the next, uh, how do you get Amazon's attention for delivering packages, or how do you get uh, Uber Air's attention for your new type of aircraft you design. So if you like tinkering, absolutely. Make a cool professional drone, make a business plan, go out to AUVSI, go take a look there. Um, once drones get to a professional level like that, there's a million uses for them. I can't even begin to list them here. So if your hobby has kind of taken you to the point of drones and now you're really doing something crazy, there's a lot of opportunity out there. Um, now for me, where I kind of make my bread and butter at the moment is I'm hired as a pilot by XCAM Aerials and we go out and we do feature film shootings. So we will go film for high-end clients, um, just clients that you've probably heard of, Red Bull, Oakley, um, unnamed uh, space companies. Um, can I say that? I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, Bush Gardens, uh, HBO, you name it. We, we go fly for a lot of high-end companies and I twiddle the sticks and they pay me as a pilot. And it works out pretty well. Um, I also have to be the mechanic, so I'm very mechanically inclined, so I work on the aircraft. I've actually designed the aircraft we're flying now currently. So if you like flying, if you like piloting, if you like filming things, Start off with a DJI Mavic or a Spark or a Phantom and find yourself a local production company who's maybe not doing aerials. Hit them up and say, hey, can I tag along and kind of learn the ropes? That's what I did. I just started as an RC pilot and worked my way into the film industry. So it's really fascinating to me um, at just how big that film industry is and the drone industry is getting even bigger um, with the film aspect of it. So that's not going anywhere, I can guarantee that. If you find that fascinating, have a look into it because it's really cool, I think. So, very last way I can kind of think of off the top of my head to make some, art, some dough on the side or maybe to make your hobby a little bit cheaper is to find a product that you are passionate about, that you currently use. What's your favorite model? What's your favorite radio? What's your favorite battery? Contact them and ask them if they need a field representative. Very simple. You're not asking for anything for free. You're not asking for you know, you're not, you're not contacting someone about a product that you have no idea about. It's got to be something you believe in. But if you really believe in the product and you travel to events or you can do a blog or a video series or whatever, hit them up and say, hey, I would love to represent your product. 
So for example, back when I was a teenager just learning how to fly, I got a hold of some helicopter blades called V-Blades, made by a guy named Vic Campbell and his wife Sherry out in Missouri, the middle of nowhere. Um, and I thought Vic had the best blades. I loved them to death. They flew great. So I literally just talked to him in a fun fly and said, hey, I really like your blades. Is there any way I can represent you? All I really wanted was a t-shirt and a hat. And he's like, yeah, of course, I'll give you 30% off the blades. And I was in heaven. I mean, come on, that's awesome. So yeah, hit up, uh, hit up a manufacturer of a product who you like and see if they want some help. Maybe you're good at writing blogs and stuff and you can do that for them. Maybe they might one day contact you to help with their manual translation if they're overseas. I mean, a million ways. Like, there's so many things you can do to help a manufacturer if you represent the product and you like it and you conduct yourself in a good way. Promote them at the local events, you know, talk about them on social media a lot. There's a million ways. So um, yeah, I think I've just kind of scratched the surface here to be honest. Um, there's a lot of my buddies, as I mentioned, who are in the business, who, who are in the RC business making money every day. This is what they do. Um, just some shout outs. For example, Todd Bennett, um, I took his class years ago. He has a class called Freestyle 3D, where he teaches you how to fly an RC helicopter, and in return, he makes a living. He makes a solid living teaching people how to fly RC helicopters. How cool is that, right? Um, another one of my buddies, Kyle Stacy. Kyle Stacy works for Burt Kammerer at BK Designs and also works for SAB, um, SAB USA and SAB in Italy. So Kyle's a test pilot and Kyle competes and he helps Burt with running the BK Designs and the SAB USA. So he's in it a little bit of everything. Um, you've got some of my friends like uh, Aaron Shell. He now works for Horizon, but what he used to do was he used to write for a company called RC Heli Magazine. So magazines aren't around as much anymore, but he was blogging for a living. He, was, he would write articles and make money in return. So there's a ton of different ways that you can go out there and make a side hustle. I think people maybe sometimes might be too scared to jump in or think it's too much of a process to jump in. But in my experience, just do it, man. Just jump in, just learn, fail, learn, succeed, fail again, fail again, get back up, keep doing it. Um, it's really cool. The RC hobby has taught me so much. I've had the absolute fortune to travel around the world doing what I love to do, all thanks to RC. Um, I really don't know what my life would be without RC in one way or the other. Um, so it's really cool. So what do you guys think? Do you guys do a side hustle at the moment, an RC side hustle? Is there anything that maybe I left out? Um, maybe I can cover that in another video. So uh, yeah, just trying to get the gears turning in your head there. Maybe make the hobby a little bit more affordable for you so the wife doesn't get as upset when she sees the bill for your broken blade for the weekend. But uh, yeah. So that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, share, everything, I really appreciate it. Um, these videos are fun for me to do, so I'll keep doing them unless you reply and say, please do not do these anymore. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.